birthday gift on the chili. I am 19 man. Two, three, four. I am here to interview Mr. Daniel Baishaza Terungwa on his farmland. And I'm talking about agricultural produce. Daniel, yes. what is, can you tell us about agricultural produce? Agriculture is something that is good. Something that is very, very, very interesting. But in a country today, we depend on oil and gas as our own source of income, not knowing that there is a large income in farming. How do you plant your crops? Can you elaborate more as a young farmer? I, at, at the start, I hired laborers to plant it for me, make ridges and heaps. So thereafter, I plant cassava, I also plant um, potatoes and my vegetable plantation, something that is very, 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 very important. Can you tell us the farm tools that are used for cultivating and harvesting crops? Yes, I do use hoe and cutlass. Sometimes to weed, when I'm too choked, I apply herbicides, like post um, up, yes, because it distorted growth the, uh, the grasses. So Daniel, can you tell us how long you have been into this farming Process. Yes, I've been farming for the past six years. Six years now. Okay. Yeah. How come you gained the experience to grow this large farm? Yeah, I learned it from my grandpa. So from there, I gained the experience. Then I start and think on how I will make this thing something meaningful. So what came over my mind was hard work. That is where I will go to the farm around 6, come back 12, take some rest, 3, I will go back to the farm, come back 6 p.m. So from there, I started making progress. Yeah. Do you harvest your cassava in less than 2 years? No, these cassava, they have different species. Mm -hmm. and sometimes, depending on the economic situation, sometimes I need cash, understand? Because they are, as earlier I told you, there are different species. Yeah. Some they can mature before the three years, so I can harvest it at any time. So, you actually use this farm as a commercial purpose? Yes, source of income, consumption for my family. Mr. Daniel, yes. aside this particular farm where you plant crops, is there any other farm where you do other planting and what other things do you plant aside the potatoes that you mentioned earlier? Yes, I do plant rice, soya beans, and corn. But rice, there is no sufficient water here. So it won't enhance its own growth. So I plant rice down down there. There is a river down there, so I do plant it. There is a rice called Sidi. It needs water, too much water. And soya beans, you can plant it here, but you know, this land is not enough for me. So I planted it somewhere. Um, please, can you at least show us around the farm so I can be able to see where you planted the vegetables you made mention earlier and the potatoes as well. Yeah, I can show you. Let this week. Okay. Here is the cassava planted on heaps. Okay. Yes, the other side is on ridges. Okay. And even this side on ridges. Okay. Yes, this one they are yet planted. My vegetables. Here is the scent leaves. Okay. Even there is the scent leaves. And okay. here is the water leaf and small ubu. Okay, yeah. Mr. Daniel, thank you so much for showing me around. I really appreciate it. So, my one last question is Is there any other thing you do for a living as a source of income? No, I depend on farming. You know, I want to give my full time to this farm work so that we lift it to another standard. Yeah, like big get no big get is a farm, the richest farm Okay, before. so Daniel. Yeah. Oh God bless you and strengthen you more. And thank you so much once again for showing me around the farm and giving me the opportunity to interview you. As you can see, we have already gone through so many things and we have talked about the agricultural produce how the uh, crops are planted both in ridges and in heaps and the things that are planted in the farm and the advantages disadvantages of agricultural production as well i remain ekeleme gives oluchi 19 mark 234 thank you